Today I am extremely excited to be talking about what is easily one of the most fascinating, bizarre, incredible, mind-blowing topics <laughs> that I have ever come across in my life. And that is DMT, dimethyltryptamine. DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelic substances known to man. This is the same substance that is found in ayahuasca, which is a visionary plant brew that has been made for thousands of years by indigenous people in the Amazon rainforest. People who ingest DMT or ayahuasca come back from their trip with incredible reports of altered states of consciousness profound spiritual experiences of traveling outside of the body, of visiting other dimensions and realms of existence beyond this universe, beyond space and time. In some cases, people also report mystical experiences of cosmic consciousness, unity and oneness with the infinite source of life itself. Now, before further exploring the DMT experience, there are several reasons why this substance is so fascinating. For some strange reason, this random, powerfully psychedelic molecule is found all throughout the natural world in a huge variety of plant and animal species, including us, human beings. DMT is in our bodies right now. It's naturally produced by the human body some theorize that it is produced in the pineal gland of the brain, but the role it plays in humans as well as other plant and animal species is really still a complete mystery. Why is it that the strongest, most potent psychedelic known to man occurs all throughout the natural world? And what is the role that it plays in the human body? And on another note, why is it that this molecule is highly illegal in the United States and many other countries when it already naturally occurs within every single one of us? I mean, that really says something about the society that we live in. But now I want to turn to exploring more about the DMT experience itself because this is where things really get interesting. Probably the best place to start is by looking at the research of Dr. Rick Strassman who in 1990 conducted one of the first and only modern scientific studies on the effects of DMT at the University of New Mexico. This study is detailed in Dr. Strassman's book called DMT, The Spirit Molecule. It's also now a documentary on Netflix, and I highly encourage you to check this out if you are interested in learning more about this topic. It's just really fascinating stuff. So the purpose of Dr. Strassman's study was to use cutting edge medical science and neuroscience to research the physical effects of DMT on the human body and brain, but also to better understand the subjective experiences that people have while taking this substance. Over the course of five years, Dr. Strassman administered over 400 doses of DMT to more than 60 different volunteers in a clinically supervised setting and documented his findings. Here is Dr. Strassman on some of the experiences that these volunteers had. People under a high dose of DMT in our work, they repeatedly and uniformly say the experience is more real than real. It's the, it's the most real thing that's ever happened to them. They felt they had entered into a whole different realm of reality that they didn't know was there, that seemed more real than, than real. You know, as much as I tried to, to interpret what people were experiencing as non-real, just the reality of it, the, the searing sense of, you know, solidity and, and uh, just the tr truth of what they're experiencing, you know, that made them really not want to swerve from uh, attributing uh, autonomous, independent existence to those things. And here are some of the volunteers from Dr. Strassman's study describing their experiences. And there was no I, there was just a sense of a witness being suspended in this incredible vaulted space, like a cathedral made uh, out of stained glass of all imaginable colors, unbelievable brilliance and saturation of color. At some point, there was this implicit sense, this is the divine realm. This is the divine realm. This is like the actual core of where all of reality is emanating from. 
I was like a caveman in a computer lab. I didn't have any idea, but I knew in my intellectual awareness that this was a very advanced civilization or life forms or, or whatever they were. They, they were so far advanced from, from what we know here on Earth. Uh, it was absolutely blissful and euphoric. And I just felt like it wasn't I. I was everything. I was the light. A thousand years of experience in 15 minutes. Well, to say the least, it, it was profound. It, it, was, it was profound. Dr. Strassman found that out of a huge range of experiences, there were certain themes and patterns and commonalities to almost every single experience that repeatedly came up. For example, almost everyone reported that they felt as though their awareness or consciousness had separated from their body, from their human identity, and that they traveled beyond this physical universe <laughs> and emerged in different realms or dimensions of existence beyond space and time. And as strange as it sounds, when these people on high doses of DMT arrived in these alternate dimensions, they arrived there to find that these realms were inhabited by other beings. And these similarities are very interesting because it points to the notion that perhaps these are more than just psychedelic hallucinations. You see, the basic problem we have to solve is, why is it that people all around the world, when they enter altered states of consciousness, have remarkably similar experiences of realms that according to orthodox science are supposed to be non-real. The best explanation is that actually they aren't non-real. Those, those encounters, those realms, those beings are real in a sense that we don't fully understand in the, in the physical world. Now, one of the most incredible parts of this DMT experience is the mystical or unitive experience. Dr. Strassman describes these mystical DMT experiences as a personal encounter with the Big Bang, God, cosmic consciousness, the source of all being. Whatever we call it, we know we have met the fundamental bedrock and fountainhead of existence, one that emanates love, wisdom, and power on an unimaginable scale. During these mystical experiences, there's no longer any separation between the self and not self. <laughs> There's no longer any boundaries between observer and observed. Observer and observed become one. Some portion of people who try DMT are having these incredible direct encounters with God, with the divine infinite source of all that is, and knowing themselves to be that. The same type of experiences that mystics and sages and awakened beings all throughout history have been reporting are also reported by volunteers who take a high dose of DMT. I mean, is this not incredible? After years of research with DMT, Strassman eventually theorized that DMT could be like a key or a portal or a gateway enabling consciousness or the soul to travel out of the body. This is a medically trained doctor and skeptical scientist that we are talking about here who could not help but come to this inescapable conclusion during his years of research. And my own experience with DMT validates the same conclusion that DMT is like a sacred key to an inner doorway. It's like a portal through which consciousness can travel to other realms of existence that coexist with this one. It is really because of those experiences that I am now certain that consciousness continues after the body dies. That consciousness has existed long before this particular human lifetime. When you have the direct experience of awareness traveling outside of the body, suddenly it becomes very clear in a bizarre, strange way that what I am, the essence of what we are, is beyond this physical form. It does not die with the death of this body. 
No matter what you believe, there is something incredible going on here. And we need to look into this further because this has profound implications for humanity and our understanding of our place in the cosmos. I'm certainly not advocating that everyone and anyone should go out and try DMT because it's incredibly powerful and it can be a dangerous, destabilizing, traumatic experience. What I am advocating for is the responsible, careful, investigation of this substance that is clearly sacred and profound. And I will end this video on that note. Subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and peace and love to every single one of you.